Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Checking in on Twitter, GoPro X CHK daily weekly time frame. So the bulls buying the dip here on Twitter is a good sign for the bulls because we are continually back testing and holding these moving averages. And I do favor the bulls on the daily time frame as long as this continues to be the case. So a lower wick showing bulls buying the dip after some upper wick showing profit taking. So now it's up to the bulls to follow through tomorrow, break 1815. Looking then at 1834 and 1858, the highs of the past two days. So some clear higher lows. The moving averages are ascending. And if we see a break of these moving averages and a close below them, then we will be looking for the bears to take over in the short term. But until that happens, again, looking for the bulls to maintain strength. Weekly time frame inside bar last week showing the tightening range. Inside bar this week, back testing and holding the 50-week moving average support. And we'll be watching for a break of these inside candlesticks to show us which direction to be looking at for the short term. But as of right now, we're nowhere near breaking either direction. So we could see yet another week of an inside bar forming, depending on how the next, I would say the next two trading days of action go, we'll be able to judge whether or not we're going to stay within this tightening pattern. GoPro on the daily time frame, yet another upper wick of profit taking, yet another rejection from the daily middle Bollinger Band resistance. So these moving averages are doing such a great job at keeping the bears in control of this chart. It's really a bear's dream because they don't have to worry about anything. You could say if we close over the middle Bollinger Band, I'll exit this trade. If we close over the 50 day moving average resistance, I'll exit this trade. And that will be keeping you in as a bear at least for the past few days and right now the bears want to see a break of 790 to be looking down at 775 weekly time frame not even testing middle bollinger band support or i should say resistance which we have been testing and rejecting from for months but we haven't rejected from it in the past two weeks haven't even had the strength to get up to that level Bollinger bands are getting very tight here. You can see this lower Bollinger band is now curling up to the upside a little bit, and that has been acting as support. So a very tight channel of middle Bollinger band resistance, lower Bollinger band support, and we'll see which of those levels break sometime in the next month. But as of right now, just concerned with the daily and those moving averages that are being a really good guide. X on the daily time frame. Bulls did show up today, and that was a nice recovery after the lower wick after breaking supports on Friday. But we have to see a break of these lower highs. I need a break of 22.56 to be looking for the bulls to show back up in the short term. If we cannot break 22.56, it is just another lower high on this daily time frame. Weekly time frame is what has me skeptical of these bulls. We've seen a month, multiple months of a bounce with no real follow through, a rejection from the 200 week resistance, rejection from exponential resistances, and a tight channel that is nowhere near being broken at this point. So as long as exponential and 200 week moving averages stay resistance, I will be bearish X in the short term. That doesn't mean there can't be gains had to the upside on the daily time frame. It just means that I do not trust the bulls. I'm not looking for any swing positions for the bulls on the daily time frame. And we have to see this weekly time frame shape up for the bulls in order to be a bit more confident. CHK on the weekly or the daily time frame, our higher low has been established with that lower wick. So after the bounce, we saw a lower high, now a higher low with the range tightening, 438 support, now 442. And in terms of resistance, we're watching the middle Bollinger Band, which is going to be down at about 480 as it continues to drop. So looking for just another short-term bounce, we can be scouting for a bearish entry at this point from either that middle Bollinger Band, and we'll be using that 514 level as our guide, where if we break 514, we know the bulls are starting to take over, and we know to back off as a bear. Here we are testing weekly exponential resistances again. We'll watch to see how we close this week relative to those levels as we have rejected from them about the past two months in a row. So short-term oversold bounce, bears in control overall, and that is the case for most of these names. Twitter is the most bullish out of all of these three on the daily time frame, in my opinion, following that breakout and consolidation pattern that we are currently in. And other than that, the longer-term bears definitely in control of these other three names. I appreciate you watching. We'll check back in tomorrow. Have a great night.